Hey, hey, welcome to another Tech Tuesday. This is Chad from Ascension Worship. This week we are going solo. Hey, 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 what do you say? Yes, it's that time again. It's Tech Tuesday. So when I say going solo, what I mean is that we're going to learn how to use the solo function for your console. Uh, now, solo exists for analog boards, digital boards, pretty much anything that's $100 or more. It's going to have some sort of solo section. If it doesn't say solo, it could say Q or AFL, or the one we're going to mostly work on today is called PFL, which stands for Pre-Fade Listen. And that means that you have the ability to go through and listen to individual channels or groups of channels and, uh, and hear them just through your headphones so you can hear, okay, well, where's that noise coming from or who's singing out of key or what's distorting. It's a really useful trick that I find a lot of churches don't utilize enough. Uh, so we're going to take a look at the Behringer X32 today. Uh, again, this will work on pretty much any uh, digital board or analog board. So if you're not an X32 user, don't tune out. There's still going to be some useful stuff in here for you. So today I'll be listening through the Sennheiser HD 280 headphones. Um, these are a really good pair for soloing purposes uh, and studio applications. What I like about them is they're not crazy expensive. They're about a hundred bucks, um, but they're really good at isolation. And so what that means is that when you have a full PA in front of you and it's pumping out music, but you're trying to listen through your vocalist and hear you know, who's out of key or whatever it's going to be, um, these are really good at just kind of suctioning onto your head and keeping out the outside sound and letting you hear um, what you're listening to from the board. So a really good pair of headphones. If you don't already have a set to cue with, uh, this is a great way to go. All right, so let's take a quick look at some of the uh, solo options you have on the board. Uh, hopefully you can see this on the screen here, but we have um, a list over here. Uh, first, uh, default for this is usually this is off. This is called exclusive or last. Uh, so if we're looking over here, if I go to hit solo with that off, I can hit a bunch of different things at a time and take things in and out, which is cool, but it can be a bit of a pain because you have to remember to either turn those off when you go to listen to something else or you have to hit this clear solo button that's over here. Um, so I like to have it uh, be exclusive. So now... Anytime I click on something with my solo, it's just going to uh, keep the one thing soloed out. But if I do need to hear multiple things, all I have to do is hold down the solo button, and then while that first one's being held down, I can go through and listen to anything else. Uh, another uh, option on here that I like to use is called Solo Follow Select. Uh, so if you have something soloed, when you go to hit Select for a different channel, it will automatically follow whatever channel you're on. Uh, now this is useful if you have a load of vocalists that you're trying to listen to and find who's off uh, pitch uh, or anything like that because it's just cutting down the amount of steps you have to do. So as soon as you hit select, uh, not only are you hearing what you're wanting to listen to, but all the information for that will come up on screen um, with any kind of EQ or anything you have like that. So if I'm looking at um, some of my instruments here, as soon as I'm hitting select, I'm listening to it and I'm seeing the EQ and I can just hop on and it makes it a little bit less likely for you to accidentally make adjustments to uh, one instrument while listening to another. Over here you have your monitor source. This is saying when you're not soloed, what are you going to be listening to? So in this case, I'm listening to my main left right fader uh, or you could turn it off or you could have it listen to any number of different things. Uh, but that's going to be your, your most popular. Uh, and again, AFL and PFL, just so you know, PFL stands for pre-fade listen. So no matter where the fader is, you're going to hear the full volume of that instrument. That's nice in case you have something turned down the mix while you're trying to figure out what the problem is. You can still go through and hear what's happening. AFL means after fade listen. So like your left-right mix, that will turn up and down um, in your ears and in the front of house. Uh, so usually you're going to want PFL for most of your individual instruments. That's what the difference is between those two. On this board, we have uh, the section over here. It's going to give us our volume for our headphones. Um, usually around 12 o'clock, if you're getting proper gain, it's going to be more than enough for what you need to hear. If you're having to max it out all the time, uh, you might want to look at your gain structure or get some headphones with better isolation. Uh, but just be really careful that you don't blow your headphones up or even worse, your ears up. 
So we're going to do a quick audio example. I've got a recording from uh, one of our recent summer camps that we were honored to do. Uh, and I'm just going to kind of show you what you would be listening to as you flip around. Uh, again, we're going to be using the settings I have set up on here uh, for exclusive, meaning that you only hear one thing at a time unless you hold down the solo button. Uh, and then also the uh, solo follow select. So you can just see what I mean by how I can quickly go through and, uh, and just hear everything that's happening at one time. To quickly demonstrate what we've been talking about, I've got a pre-recorded mix from a summer camp we did that we can take a listen to. So if I have nothing selected, if I hit this clear solo button, uh, or if I deselect whatever solo, they do the same thing, uh, then I'm hearing the entire mix. Or, like I talked about earlier, if I, um, because I have this set to follow, if I hit select on one of these, I can go through and hear that channel um, immediately and it puts the information up on the screen. If I wanna hear multiple things at one time, I can hold down the solo button and then click solo for the other things I wanna hear. Another way to do that is to solo entire groups if you have groups going on. So I've got a drums DCA, drums and bass. And then if you notice one more thing, um, so my click track is turned down. However, this is again PFL, that means pre-fade listen. So if I select it, uh, then I'm gonna hear it at full volume even with the fader down. So I'm gonna select it, I'm gonna turn the fader up and down, and you should hear there's no difference. So those are the basic functions of solo. Easy. Again, this is Chad from Ascension Worship. I hope this has been helpful for you and your team. Come back here every Tuesday for new information.